Good morning, friends, and welcome to our Upper Room Discipline Devotions. Today is brought to you by, it's called The Call to Trust by Elsie Aravello. Thank you for her words. And uh, scripture this morning, this beautiful Monday morning, is Psalm 31, 1 to 5, and 15 to 16. In you, O Lord, I seek refuge. Do not let me ever be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me, incline your ear to me, rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You indeed are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that is hidden for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and persecutors. And let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Trusting God during times of trouble can be challenging. Even more challenging, perhaps, is trusting God while in fear of trouble yet to come. So often our fears are lived out only in our imaginations, though the impact that they have on our physical and our psychological well-being is very real. Our thoughts, if we allow them to become our center, can bring us true suffering. And with so much evidence of pain all around us, it's no wonder that we often live our lives bracing ourselves for the worst. Can we trust in God as the psalmist seems to do in these verses? Can we have that kind of faith? Can God truly become our rock and our center? What if instead of reading this psalm as a call to trust that God will be there for us, we read it line by line as a call to notice the ways that God's grace have already been present throughout our lives? When has God been your refuge? How has God been your rock and your fortress during times of trouble? How are you experiencing God's sustaining love today, right in this moment? The psalmist points us toward a hope, a sustainer, a love that accompanies us through the worst parts of our lives. Betrayal, persecution, suffering, and death. We can notice and savor the times in our lives when we have experienced God's grace, and we can let those moments soak into our bones. In this way, we will know that God is trustworthy, not because we believe it with our minds, but because we have experienced it for ourselves. Pray with me. Oh Lord, it can be hard for us to trust in your sustaining love. Fear, anxiety, and doubt keep us in a loop of worry, tension, and despair. Help us to see all the ways that you have already loved us and carried us and been there for us. Help us to notice your grace and love are ever-present even now. Help us to love you through our fears. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. I chose 
A mighty fortress is our God for him. A mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never failing. Our helper he amid the flood of mortal ills prevailing. For still our ancient foe doth seek to work us woe. His craft and power are great, and armed with cruel hate. On earth is not his equal. Have a beautiful Monday morning. God bless each and every one.